Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emmanuel, and for this lesson, I want to share a couple of Hollywood chord progression secrets. So I was scrolling through Instagram the other day, and I came across this chart which detailed a couple of progressions that are used in Hollywood movies to try to and to try and convey a certain mood at any particular scene. So what I'll be doing is showing you guys these progressions and you can even incorporate it to any song that you may be writing or if you're playing any song at any church or something like that and you want to convey a certain mood. There's a couple of progressions that you can use that are I guess throughout the years were conveyed or they they evoke that certain feeling when you hear this combination of chords, all right? So this first chord is from a major to a second major. And this mood is, or this progression is, com is supposed to convey the mood of protagonism, all right? So the example is from C major to D major and it sounds like this. Right, so basically you can experiment with the arpeggios that you use for each chord, but the main point is going from a first major to a second major, right? So from C, for example, from C to D major. Now this second progression is supposed to be used in a scene that is an outer space, all right? It gives that, I guess, celestial type sound or feeling. And it's from a major to a flat fifth major in this case the progression will be from a major to e flat major so it sounds like this all right so that was outer space now this third progression it's supposed to sound fantastical. That's the the name that or the description that they give this progression. And it's from the major flat sixth. I mean from the major to the flat sixth major, right? And in this case, I'll be doing from from G major to E flat major. And it sounds like this. Right, so this next mood is for when you're trying to convey sadness or loss, and it's from the major to the third minor. And as you can see, it has a minor chord there, so that's usually um, used to describe like a sad feeling or sad mood. And I'll be doing from C major to E minor. It sounds like this. Alright, so this next progression should convey romantic or a Middle Eastern type feel. And it's from the major to the fourth minor. In this case, I'll be doing from G major to a C minor. And it sounds like this. Now this next progression should convey wonder or transcendence, all right? And it's from the minor to the fourth major. In this case, I'll be doing from G minor to a C major. It sounds like this.
Now this next progression should also convey wonder or transcendence. And it's from the major to the fifth minor. And I'll be doing from A major to E minor. Now this next progression should convey mystery or a dark comedy, all right? <clears throat> and it's from a minor to a second major. And I'll be doing from C minor to D major. Now, this next progression should convey antagonism, danger, or it's something less character-based. And I'll be doing from a minor to a flat fifth minor. In this case, it would be from A minor to E flat minor. Now, this other one is also the same type of mood, antagonism, evil, but it's more character-based. It's more focused on a, on a particular character. And it's from a minor to a flat sixth, flat sixth minor, all right? It's from G minor to E flat minor. Sounds like this. Now this last one, it's supposed to convey sort of a dramatic feel and it's from, sorry, from a minor to a seventh major and I'll be doing from D minor to a D flat major. Alright, so that's all for today. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and leave a like in the video. That really helps out the channel. And if you want, you can share this um, video with other pianist friends so that they can also learn about these Hollywood type progressions and incorporate them into their own playing.